So today we're gonna to be talking about fiber strategy. And honestly, this strategy isn't really part of many fiber sellers mindsets, but it's definitely something that could help you save your fiber gigs. Your fiber gig is a coffee shop in the jungle. A coffee shop in the jungle? What is Mike talking about? I promise you I'm not losing my mind, but I am gonna use this analogy, this concept that your fiber gig is a coffee shop located in a vast jungle to help explain to you and teach you the things you can do to get your gig discovered, found by people, so that you can make a ton of money selling them on fiber. So watch to the end, pause, take notes. I promise this video is gonna be helpful. Okay, so a coffee shop in the jungle. I want you to treat your Fiverr gigs the same way you would if you were opening a coffee shop in the middle of the jungle and you're trying to help people find that coffee shop. Imagine it looks something like this. Here's your Fiverr gig, the coffee shop, and it's situated right here smack dab in the middle, surrounded by a huge jungle of trees and obstacles. The jungle is Fiverr. Pretty unlikely that anyone is just going to stumble across your Fiverr gig, just like it's pretty unlikely anyone's gonna stumble across a random coffee shop in the jungle. These people out here, these are your potential customers. They're outside the jungle and they want what you are selling at your coffee shop. And there's only a couple of ways they can find your gig, your coffee shop that's nestled deep within the Fiverr jungle. The first way that they can find your coffee shop is if they're just walking around and randomly stumble across your gig. For you as the seller of a fiber gig, or in this analogy, as the proprietor of this coffee shop in the jungle, this is the worst possible way that you want people to find your gigs. If they're just stumbling across your gigs and that's the only way you're having people find your stuff, this is terrible. Terrible because they might stumble across someone else's gig in the process. They might stumble across your gig and not, you know, take a look inside the coffee shop. They're not, they're not targeted at all. These are just random people who randomly find you. This is not the way to build a sustainable fiber business. But this situation happens to be the situation that most fiber sellers fall into. They'll create a fiber gig and just wait to see what happens, expecting people to just come in in droves and purchase the hell out of that gig. But the reality is, it can take a long time, and for a lot of people, most people, if you're just throwing up a gig and doing nothing, you're not gonna get the results you're looking for. What you really need is to draw attention to your coffee shop located in the middle of this vast jungle. You need to draw attention to your fiber gigs that are located on a marketplace with thousands or millions of other fiber gigs. One way you can do this is by leaving a breadcrumb trail, a trail through that whole vast fiber marketplace, the fiber jungle, that can help lead people back to your gigs. The breadcrumb trail I'm talking about represents SEO, search engine optimization. Basically, you'd be creating your gigs in a way that include a bunch of different SEO breadcrumbs throughout the gig, in the gig title, in the gig description. Basically, these breadcrumbs are search terms or phrases that people are likely to be searching for when they're searching for a gig like yours. These breadcrumbs helps Fiverr connect the dots between your gigs and search terms from potential clients, potentially creating a path of those buyers finding your gigs. It helps your gig rank higher in search and puts it in front of your potential clients. Doing this is a much better strategy than just having people randomly stumble across your stuff. In this situation, they are technically still wandering through that jungle we've talked about. They're doing it on their own accord, but you are scattering some breadcrumbs strategically to help guide them back to your gig based on what you think they're already looking for. It's a good strategy. Another super effective way to help people find your coffee shop that's nestled deep within this jungle is to physically direct them to it. If we think back to our analogy of directing people to a coffee shop nestled in the jungle, you could hire guides to help people navigate through the jungle to find your gig or your coffee shop or even place speakers all around the jungle, loudspeakers that are giving people directions on where to turn to find your coffee shop. This type of a strategy would dramatically increase the chances of someone finding your coffee shop in the jungle because you're literally showing them the way. 
This strategy, when we're talking in terms of a Fiverr gig, relates to buyers who take the approach of actively, proactively reaching out to potential clients and directing them to their gigs. Taking a sales approach, proactively selling their gigs, trying to bring in new clients. This is a great strategy too, and it's much better than the wait and see attitude. Another great way to have people find your coffee shop in the middle of a jungle would be to put signs all over the jungle that also direct people back to your coffee shop. In Fiverr terms, if you want to direct people to your Fiverr gig located in this vast marketplace that is the Fiverr jungle, this represents buying ads that direct people to your gigs when they're searching for something. Paid ads on Google and Facebook are one way of going about this. But for people who don't necessarily want to spend all that money on paid ads, creating content in the form of blog posts, helpful evergreen posts and websites that are related to your services can really help direct people to your gigs passively. If people are finding your content and if you create a lot of good content and in that website where that content's located, you point them to your Fiverr gigs, that's another great way of helping people find your stuff in the middle of this vast forest or jungle that is Fiverr. So there you have it. I hope you don't think I'm crazy, but your Fiverr gig is kind of like a coffee shop located in the middle of a jungle. Nobody's gonna find it unless you find a way to direct them to it. Whether it be leaving breadcrumbs, directing them to it, hiring guides to show them the way, going out and bringing people in yourself, or putting signs up everywhere to help you direct people and help them find your coffee shop or find your Fiverr gig. I know this analogy might make things a little bit more complicated for some, but this is a concept I've really tried to explore on this channel, and some people are having a hard time getting it. So I hope this video was helpful. Pause it, rewind, watch it again. If you have any questions, leave it in the description below. But the concept is, think of yourself as someone opening a coffee shop in the middle of a jungle. The coffee shop is your Fiverr gig. The jungle is Fiverr. It's on you as a seller to help people navigate through that vast jungle to find your Fiverr gig. I hope this was helpful. It was a random thought I had that I thought might help illustrate this concept in a way that's easier for more people to understand. So thanks so much for watching. That's it for today. Until next time, cheers.